Ask me anything by reddicle. Redditors who were dating someone that went from I think I want to marry this person to I think I need a restraining order. What happened? We were actually engaged to be married. Then she went on holidays without me and came back pregnant. She then told me you have never done anything to prove you really love me. Accept this baby and help me raise it to prove it. I declined and asked her to leave the home that I paid for. And that was in my name. She refused. So I made arrangements. Cancelled my lease. Then left and told her there were 4 days left on the lease. I think. She wailed but what am I supposed to do? I don't have a job. But what am I supposed to do? I don't have a job. I fail to see how that's my problem. Frankly my dear. I don't give a damn. He cut himself in front of me and threatened to stab my cat. WTF. Did he just start yelling I'll stab the cat? Pretty much. She cheated on me the day my dad died. I'm so sorry for your loss. Also duck that beach. After being beat down mentally from her, I started suffering from erectile dysfunction at 22 years of age. Eventually I mustered the courage to leave her. She quickly moved on to someone else, who would later become her husband, and called me every week to basically rub it in. Saying how much better he was than me, how much bigger he was than me, etc. I moved out of state, changed my number, never heard from her again. She called my parents and even showed up at their home. But they told her to go away. About 10 years later my friend ran into an old friend of hers. Apparently my ex got arrested for beating her own mother. Got out of jail. And beat her husband. Then tried to take their kids from him. She was arrested again. And later released. Guess I dodged a huge bullet there. You dodged a massive bullet. And I'm sorry you had to deal with all of the shit and what she caused you. I sort of feel like the ED was your body's way of going. This chick. I just can't. I don't feel good with her and I don't feel safe. It seems like a sign that she's not the right one for you. I'm glad it's over with her and that you're free. I hope everything has gone back to how it ought to be for you and that she ends up locked up somewhere. Jesus. Insanity. I had the same thing. I thought something was wrong cuz why wouldn't an 18 you be able to duck anyone? Anytime. But my brain was like, yeah dude, we get the hormones. But this shit ain't right. We met online. We both had video games in common and hit it off. Fast forward 2 years and we get engaged. All was well. Until he started getting abusive toward me and our pets. I felt stuck because I could t afford to live on my own. Then he went on a business trip and I found child porn on a hidden flash drive. Turned it in. He got arrested. Turns out he was also hiring prostitutes and stuff. He's in prison and it's illegal for him to contact me. You dodged a missile right there. That's a flat out psychopath. Good thing you jumped ship before you had kids. Edit. Sorry I confused rocket with missile. I suffer from dyslexia. I graduated. She wanted to transfer schools. So. We moved to a college town where she told me she'd been accepted as a transfer. Turns out she hadn't been accepted. And when she applied. Was not accepted. She got a job at Walmart while trying to figure out her next move. After about 2 months she decides we should move to Pittsburgh. She's convinced this will solve all her problems and make her happy. Except we're in a recession and I just got my first good job. I don't want to move. She became abusive. I didn't want to go home. She was constantly negative and on the edge of a screaming fight. I was just avoiding her at the end. We were together 4 years before that, and she was always moody but not abusive. 6 months of that, and she went to her hometown to take a semester at a local school and stay with her parents. I called her 2 weeks later and told her not to come back. It had been like a weight was lifted from me, and I never wanted to see her again. Glad you got away, but why Pittsburgh? Specific reason? Pittsburgh has magical properties and the water that make all of your troubles go away. I live here I know. There's no problems at all. None. Stop looking at me like that. Everything is fine. The weather is perfect. The roads are great. Everyone gets along perfectly fine. I swear. It's great. Everything is wonderful. I was young. Dumb. And thought I was in love and ignored men or red flags. As he got more comfortable around me he let his crazy out. 
Someone stole his cell phone and he asked me to purchase a shotgun for him so he could go shoot the person who did it. It took me another year and a half to leave. I did try breaking up with him but he told me that if I ever tried to break up with him again he'd kill everyone I love and then himself so I'd know what it was like to be alone. That relationship ended in an order of protection against domestic violence. He was nuts. Oh god I can't imagine the fear you felt in that moment. I moved my ex in way too early. She hated where she was living and I wanted to help her with her mental state so it seemed like a good idea at the time. She didn't have a job so I paid for everything. Whenever she finally did get a job, she would keep all the money to herself and then quit out of nowhere after a couple of weeks or so. Slowly but surely she started abusing me in pretty much every way but sexual and like a frog in boiling water. I allowed it to happen by justifying it to myself. I even found out that financial abuse is a thing. You know it's a great relationship when it teaches you about a new form of spousal abuse. She used her mental issues to manipulate me into buying her so many things. Including a ducking 6 or 700 dollar laptop. As soon as I ran out of money, we started having problems and 16,000 dollars in credit card debt later. She broke up with me and continued to live in my apartment for another couple of months. She was on the lease so I couldn't kick her out cause legally, the apartment was her just as much as it was mine. She finally moved out on my birthday last December, and I'm stopped AI learned picking up the pieces. Edit. I appreciate all the support but I'm not fishing for that. I just wanted to share my experience. I love that so many people are so quick to support a complete and total stranger. Reddit is ducking great sometimes, and for anyone else going through similar bullshit, or just any bullshit in general, just remember this. Duck it. Life goes on. You just gotta stay strong and fight through it. The world is a shitty place and will not hesitate to duck with you in any and every way. Just grit your teeth and refuse to let the world beat you. Tell the world to suck your whole dong and balls and continue to live your life and do you as you do. That's very similar to what happened to me. Frog in water is the perfect way to describe it. Once on vacation she punched me awake because she had a dream I cheated on her. I dated someone for almost 3 years starting back in grade 10 in high school. Everything was great for the first year or so. And he treated me well and we had some things in common. Didn't realize after we broke up how much of a grade A neck beard he actually was thought for a while that if we stayed together after high school, we could get married. Because he was my first relationship and I felt like I loved him so much that I would marry him. Then about a year and a half into the relationship he starts to show his true colors. His family never had much money, so sometimes I would help to pay for stuff for him. He started to yell and scream if I didn't give him money to buy some game, food, etc. He wanted and many times would embarrass me in the middle of a public setting like Walmart. My parents sometimes too would help pay for his gas. And that got to the point where he would come to me to ask my parents for the money cause they didn't give it to him yet. I didn't want to give him money all the time and even tried calling him out in it. But he would always scream and yell. Saying how dare I tell him not to take my money blah blah blah. He generally became emotionally and financially abusive. I didn't know financial abuse was a thing until after we broke up. And the incident that made me really stop loving him was the night he raped me. He finally decided that waiting for me to be ready wasn't enough so he took it. We still dated almost a year after that but out of fear of what he would do if I left him. I finally left him the next year right before my birthday after finding out that he had cheated on me again with my, now ex, best friend. I wish I had said something sooner to my parents but only told them 3-4 years after it happened. Now I hope I never see him again. A lot of people don't realize that it's not easy to leave a relationship that's so abusive. I'm proud of you for leaving. I hope you're safe. You were very brave to get out then. And I absolutely understand not wanting to see him again. Hugs. He was a psychotic a-hole for sure. Just stay safe okay. That's traumatic. Duck that guy. We were in a long distance relationship for over 3 years and eventually it started to fizzle. She'd tell me to move to the states and drop my college degree, my family and my animals to live as an illegal immigrant and I could just do whatever jobs I could find just to be with her. I told her I needed to wait, 
She'd get very upset every time I went out with friends and would bombard my Facebook wall with random crap and send me private messages with passive aggressive insults and threats of suicide. I broke it off with her and moved on. But she kept messaging me asking to be friends. I tried but she'd randomly blow up at me insulting me for ruining her life by making her think she could be loved. I told her she did deserve love and she'd get even more upset. We couldn't talk at all. Last year she messaged me yet again we broke up in 2013. Telling me that I had a legal obligation to marry her since I said I would 5 years ago and therefore she expected me to just fly up there and fulfill my obligation to her. Had to block her. Edit. Sorry I don't think I explained myself properly. It wasn't an exclusively online relationship. We did see each other. I would travel up there twice a year whenever I had vacations from uni and spend about 2 months with her. Which were always great. She'd just get incredibly possessive and insecure when we were apart because my social life started to blossom down here and she was scared I'd meet someone else. Once I stayed for 6 months until the very last day of my visa. Legal obligation to marry her. Because you said that 5 years ago. That's nuttier than a squirrel's ward of nuts. She has many issues, but she's also been handled a really rough hand in life. I'll always care but damn that one was too much. I was dating a guy who was very sweet in the beginning. After about 6 months he got possessive. He didn't trust me. An example of this was one night I told him I was meeting a friend I used to work with at a bar a block away. We lived in a safe area and it was a short walk. Her name sounded like it could be male or female. But I assured him she was a she. He showed up at the bar while we were there and it made him look very insecure. He began tracking my phone's GPS. I found out when I stopped at a relative's house after work on my way home and he freaked out and called my mom. She actually knew that was where I was and he had a hard time believing I wasn't cheating. The last straw was my first week at a new job. I worked nights and had my phone. I got this long winded email regarding an innocent comment on a Facebook selfie of me. There were screenshots of it and a huge manifesto about why my buddies online all wanted to take me away from him. After I broke up with him, I got emails for months swinging between apologies and telling me I was the abuser. I got emails telling me he was being drugged. It was insane. Is greater than I walked to the bar at night and he showed up. Okay, maybe he wanted to make sure you got there safe. Alright is greater than he began tracking my phone's GPS. No. Is greater than I got this long winded email regarding an innocent comment on a Facebook selfie of me. There were screenshots of it and a huge manifesto about why my buddies online all wanted to take me away from him. What the duck. This was like a classic 3 strikes and you're out story. 9 stroke 10. The thing at the bar sounds pretty creepy but calling her mom to ask about her GPS location is beyond crazy. I would have never made it past two strikes with that person. You really shouldn't be dating if you can't trust someone enough to go out to drinks with friends without you. Started dating in high school. Had some ups and downs. But at the time I just chalked it up to us being immature. My last two years of college really proved he just had serious issues. When I moved out of state for good it's like a switch flipped and he got extremely possessive and controlling. Wanted all my friends numbers. Gave me a schedule of when we need to be in communication and if I missed any he was blowing my phone up with threats of suicide. Finally got the restraining order when he showed up to my friend's apartment looking for me. Threatening to call the police because I still had a pair of his shoes that I didn't even have. That's so crazy. Something very similar happened to me except I was the other side of it. Looking back it's insane to me how I could think the things I was doing were right. But I did them anyways. I'm not sure what happened in that relationship to bring that out of me. But I developed some serious hang ups that I'm still working to get over today. That's awesome that you were able to self reflect. See your mistakes. And take ownership of addressing those issues. If everyone thought this way the world would be a much better place. Thanks for being a better version of yourself. I found out he was soliciting underage girls. Like a record scratch. It was over. Edit. Whoa. Thank you all. Yes. He was arrested and went to jail. I'm so sorry. And I know your pain. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. My fiancé was arrested for child porn. It was over when I finally learned why Homeland Security and the county PD had raided my house. About 3 hours after they burst through my door. 
I had to take our 4 year old daughter for a rape evaluation. Thankfully she wasn't abused. His ex-girlfriend bailed him out of jail. I worked with agents to record him confessing everything to me. I will never forget that shit I had to hear in response to some messed up questions they had me ask. I learned he talked about our daughter online to other perverts, and tried to buy a very young girl's virginity from her mother. He went to prison last month for 25 years on a plea bargain. This is horrifying. I can't even imagine the pain you went through. I hope you are able to put this behind you. You and your child don't deserve to suffer because of the things he did. Thanks for watching this radical video. Subscribe for the best reddit videos straight to your feed 3 times a day.